Hey everyone, this is Dhruvin and I welcome you all to Microsoft Dataverse for Teams step by step series. You are watching third part of this series and in this session I am going to talk about how you can work with relational tables in Microsoft Dataverse for Power Apps. So now let's get started. In our earlier session, we have created Power Apps within the team and when we have created that Power Apps, this out of the box screen has been created over here. Now we need to connect one data source with our Power Apps. Now in this session, I am going to explain you that relational database with Microsoft Dataverse in detail. So first of all, go to your data section over here and now click on create new table. So that will open this type of pop-up to create the table. Now first of all let me explain you what we are going to achieve over here. So we are going to prepare our power apps for live application system. So I have designed one database architecture for live application. So first of all let me show you my relational database schema over here. So basically I am going to create three different tables over here. The so first table is lives table, second table is manager table and third table is leave type. Now what happen here is in the first table I am going to take this many of column and these are my master tables. Let's say for an example this is my manager table where I have two columns manager email and manager name and same way in leave type I have one column named leave name and in which I am going to provide three different choice that planned leave, unplanned leave and birthday leave. Now let's go to our main table that is leaves where we are storing the leave application submitted by the requester. Now here we are taking this many of fields let's say leave id so that is auto incremental field leave type that is the lookup column of this particular table then leave title start date end date number of days manager manager is also a lookup column from this particular table and at last we have manager comment so this is overall relational database schema that we are going to prepare now here we can see that the relationship here is let's say for an example manager is one column here now for any request for any single request there is one manager associated with it so there is many to one relationship over there so we are going to create that relationship as well in our database structure now let me move over to power apps within the team and let's create our table structure over there so here i am in the power apps and now we are going to create our table so first of all i am going to create my leaves table so i am just giving my table name as leaves from here and now let me just click on create so very clean ui has been provided over here now we need to add different columns over here so name column is the out of the box column which has been created here now let me just rename this column so i just want to rename this column as leave description then let's check our excel file and let's create our list so let's say for an example let me just create leave id now here you can see that different data types are available here so at this moment with this particular ui we have text email url phone auto number number date decimal lookup choice and yes no type of column available now this table is something which we have created from power apps now there is another way to create the table as well i will show that thing to you later now for this particular leave id i need auto incremental column so i will choose type as auto increment here there are some advanced option like if you want to string any prefix number or any prefix you can add that i do not uh, i do not want to change anything so i'm just simply creating create leave id i have taken now uh, i need to create column a leave type that is the lookup column so i'm just simply closing that and, and i'm creating some another master tables and then i will create the another columns for this leaves table now let me just close that out so that particular table has been created and that has been available over here in the data section now this is the one way that you can create the tables directly using add data and you can simply create a new table over here now let me show you the another way let me just simply save this thing first so i redirected over here now 
In home, you can see that this is the home page of our Power Apps where you can see recent app section and uh, another section for learning different uh, concept of Microsoft Dataverse. Now we need to click on build section from here. Now in build, on the left hand side it will show all the available teams for Microsoft Dataverse for teams and right hand side it will show whatever the items that we have created inside that teams. Now let's say for an example this particular we are working into this particular team that is Microsoft Dataverse YouTube team. Now in that particular team recently we have created one canvas app in my earlier session so that canvas app is being shown here and one table that we just created that table is being shown here. Now we just need to click on see all so that will redirect us to this type of UI. Now here it will show all the apps, chatbots, flow, table which is created into this particular team. Now let's say for an example just go to the table section and here we can see the leaves table that we just created. Now let me create another two master table first and then we will add some additional column over here. So now from here you can also create the new table. So let me just give my table name as manager. So I'm just giving my table name as manager here and now let's just click on create. So that has created my manager table over here. Now from here as well you can create your columns. So let's say name column has been already created. Now let me just create one additional column with manager email. So I'm just creating that thing and now its data type should be email. Now you can see here there are lots of other data types as well available. So this is the native CDS view that we are able to see here. But when we create the table from the power apps that we have created we have seen the some limited data types. Now let me select email from here and now I just wanted to make that field as also required field. So let me just make that as a required. And now let me just click on done. And now let me just rename that field as well. That is manager name. So I'm just renaming that field. So we have created our manager table. Now let me just insert some data inside that. So I'm just going to my table section from here. And now I'm clicking on my manager table. Now let me just click on edit data. Okay, let me just save these changes. So I'm just clicking on save table. So make sure that you don't forget to save the changes. Now just click on edit data. Now let's add our column. So manager is Thruvin. So here I have created two different record for manager. One is Thruvin and one is Tejal and I have provided their email address as well. Now let me just simply click on close. It has been saved here. right so that is my manager table now let me create one more table here so I am again going here and click on see all and now let me just click on one additional table that is leave type so let me just let me just create a table now here name column has been created I do not want to create any additional column I just want to define my choices so, so leave types are planned leave unplanned leave and birthday leave so let me just insert those data over here so I have added three records over here now let's close this pop-up so the record has been inserted successfully now let's go to our main table that is leaves table so I'm just clicking on my leaves table so we have created only two columns at this moment leave description and leave id now let's go forward with creating another columns so let's click on add column and let's create a column name leave type so leave type is something which is coming from the another table so it is a lookup column so we just need to select lookup from here now we need to select the related table so my related table name is leave type so let's select that and let's see let me make that as a required field and now let's click on done similar way 
let's add start date and end date I am selecting the data type as date only and this should also required so I am selecting start date and end date now let me create a column number of days with number data type I am selecting data type as whole number now we need a manager name so manager name is something which is another list and it has a relationship with the list table so just go to your relationship table click on add relationship and it has many to one relationship so leaves table has many to one relationship with the manager table and lookup column display name should be manager so you can also change the here the display name manager name so let's click on done so it will create this lookup column for you also there is one another way as well if you are not going to create any relationship then what you need to do here is simply click on add column and you can simply add the lookup as a data type from here and you can simply select that column over there so there are two different way either you can define the relationship or you can directly use that as a lookup column over here now let me uh, give some light on relationship so at this moment many to one one to many and many to many relationships are supported over here now let me create one more column manager comments this is simple text column and let's click on done so I think we have created all the columns from this table and other two tables as well so our database has been created successfully now let's save the table saving the table is the most important step because everything is not saved automatically over here so this is how we have designed our relational database for leave management system now let's go to our power apps so go to the app section and let's open our leaves app from here now just go to the data section and from here you will be finding some another tables as well so let's select those two tables so that they are added over here so all the three tables has been added to this power apps and now we will create our power apps form considering these three data sources so in my next session we will discuss how we can create power apps using microsoft dataverse as a data source and we will create live application form over there so stay tuned to my next session if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel stay tuned with me on facebook linkedin and twitter if you wish to receive daily notification about all my new videos on your whatsapp number click on this link it will be redirecting you to this form fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification about all my new videos to your whatsapp number also if you wish to listen the different podcasts related power platform click on this link it will be redirecting you to this page here you can listen your favorite power platform related podcast on your favorite podcast platform like apple podcast google podcast spotify and much more this is Truvin signing off see you in the next session have a great day goodbye